Hey guys, this is Kvac and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the script which displays GIF images in OBS after a Twitch command is used. You will need the AnkBot, AutoHotkey and the script itself. All the links will be in the description. I've already downloaded the script. Here it is. And why? Oh, there. OBS was not showing. Anyway, um, I've made a folder on my computer, GIF tutorial, and that's where I'm going to extract the archive, the GIF overlay folder. Now, in this folder, you will have the script itself, GIF overlay, the GIF trigger.txt file, which will contain the keywords when, when, uh, a command is used in Twitch, a keyword will be written in uh, the text file by AnkBot. After that, the script file will read from the uh, text file and check what GIF image to display in OBS. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and change the path in the script file. You will need to change seven paths, like in seven locations. Two are here on line 23. Uh, another two are on line 33, 10 lines lower. Uh, the next uh, path to be changed is on line 35. And the last two paths are in at, are at the end of the script on line 83. Anyway, I'm going to use the find and replace tool by hitting Ctrl F and going on the replace tab. In here, I'm going to enter the uh, Twitch stuff, the current path, which is the Twitch stuff GIF overlay. And I'm going to replace it with the GIF tutorial GIF overlay. Replace all seven occurrences happened, which is if you have zero occurrences, then you have a typo on the find string. Anyway, let's move on. Save the script, uh, run it. Now we need to add a command in Ankbot that will, uh, write the into the text file. I already have one which is happy dance. Let's edit it. Save to file D GIF tutorial GIF overlay GIF trigger.txt and the keyword happy dance. Save to file blank. In the script there is the happy dance variable which will be looked here. Sorry about that. Uh, now the script should be working, but we need to add an image source in OBS. Image GIF example. Browse, go to your GIF overlay folder, GIFs to display, and in here select the GIF image. Blank.GIF. Okay. Now we should be good if we use the command happy dance that gif shows up the dancing anime girl. Okay, now if you want to add more gifs from your the ones you want, you can just go ahead and copy it. Let's get um what what gif should we use? Okay, the what the fuck gif. Let's uh, copy that into gifs folder. In here, let's rename it to pony. What the fuck? Okay. Now we should make a command for it. By I'm gonna edit the old command. Pony. What the fuck? Change the keyword to be exactly the same as the image name pony what the fuck add <coughs> <coughs> sorry 
Sorry about that. I need to drink some water, but I don't have any water around. So let's move on. I've added the command. Pony, what the fuck? Now make sure to edit the script and add the new variable. We have five variables at the moment. Let's add the sixth one. Gif6 keyword pony, what the fuck? Okay, and another if in string code block. Copy one of those, gif6, gif6. Save it. We can change the duration to 8000, which will mean 8 seconds. Save it. Run again. Right click, run script, or double click it. And now we're good to go. Let's go ahead and test it. Pony, what the fuck? There it is. It is quite small. It should last about 8 seconds. Not about. Exactly 8 seconds. Anyway. Another thing I could show you. It is to... How you edit GIF images and save them so they can look exactly as you want them to. I am going to use Photoshop, but you can use, I think you can use GIMP or whatever software you want that can edit images. Let's uh, get a new, a new GIF file, which will be this one. Okay, it has quite a bit of frames, 19 frames. These are, first you'll have to change the canvas size if you want. I'm gonna use the screen resolution, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Go ahead and select all the layers because each layer represents one uh, frame of the GIF. Hit Ctrl T to transform it. I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna make it full screen, like that. Okay. Now to save it, you need to go to File, Export, Save for Web Legacy. Save into the GIFs folder, GIF Tutorial, GIF Overlay GIFs. The name of the GIF will be Huh. Okay, save. After it's done, we need to com to make a command for it and edit the script. Let's not save that, close it. Okay, command. Let's edit the pony. Will be huh. What? No? Okay. The keyword, it's the same as the GIF image. In here, the GIF name is huh. Add modify. In the script file, copy one block of if in string, GIF 7, GIF 7. It will be 5 seconds, let's say. 5000 milliseconds, that means. And we also need to add a, a new GIF variable which will be GIF7 and the keyword will be huh. Now run the script again, double click it. And so when we test the command huh, the GIF should show up. It is full screen as we made it to be. Okay guys, that's about it. I hope uh, everything is clear now. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, have a wonderful day.